Well guys, you know, I'm uh, I'm pulling most of my traps, but I am going to put a scatter one out in certain places. And I'm going to put one right here now, and uh, just using some partridge heads there for bait. And this is uh, kind of like a temporary set uh, when the uh, season ends. I'm just going to take this box and set out of it again. Yeah, I'm going to set a merton trap here now, and uh, I got a rabbit there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to skin the rabbit here and use the fur and feet or whatever all leftover stuff and use that as bait. Yep, so what I don't eat becomes bait. So that's perfect system. You know, I won't be putting a whole lot out just late in the season now, but uh, I'll put a scatter one out. And uh, who knows? We may get a merton there. We'll have to wait and see on that. Well, tomorrow uh, I'm heading out and I'm going to set a couple of traps, and I don't have any boxes, so uh, I'm going to assemble a couple here now. Uh, and these pieces, you know, I had these cut out all months and months ago, and uh, so, uh, you know, it's good to have uh, pieces like this uh, on hand, and now it won't take me very long. I'll just stick them together, and uh, in no time I'll have a couple of boxes ready to set tomorrow. I think it's four inches. That piece there. Two first, get two boxes made first. That's one of the needs for tomorrow. And then, uh, then I'll make the other two after. I'll complete two first though. Just in case something else comes up. The old meats are, got a thousand one uses. It's always good to have uh, a little bit extra stuff cut out, you know, so it makes life a lot easier when you're in a rush. Oh, one on a like that, he fits. Yep, just something to hold in place there. We're almost done. Perfect. That didn't take real long. Now we got two boxes for tomorrow. All right. I'm gonna set a trap here. Uh, and for bait, that's the, the, the lights, the lungs of the porcupine and some old scrap stuff and a, and a partridge head and I'm going to be using uh, Burns uh, Martin Magic for lure so I'm going to set a couple traps today so I'm going to cut that in half and put half there and half there that's one thing I like about these new boxes you know I'm going to worry about the bait being froze or anything Well, that's another one set, and uh, we'll see how uh, we make it later on, I guess. Well, this is going to be like a temporary set, and when the season is over, I'll take this uh, box and try that out again. Well, guys, you know, anytime you get a bit of firewood when you're out hunting and trapping, it's like giving yourself a bonus. Look at that, two dead tree right there, another one here, there. So some real nice wood here, real close together, so it shouldn't take too long. And I'll give myself a wonderful bonus. Now, a couple's after falling down here and are hung up in the trees. It's kind of like uh, pickup sticks. <laughs> so I'll figure out which one to take first, but I'm gonna take this one in here. So that way this one could come down and then this other one could come down. Oh, 
Well, chain broke. Uh, I don't have a full load, but it's pretty close to it anyway. Well, on the way back there now, and I got a couple of beverages. That's perfect. Uh, I'm going to keep these for a pot of soup, and that way the ones I got in the freezer can stay there. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's good. Well, that's so good. I got to do the happy dance. Woohoo! Nothing there, and nothing there as well. Uh, you know, uh, Never got no one here now the last couple of checks, but uh, you know what? Uh, when I'm done here, come back next year and I'll catch away rabbits here again. You know, that's the way they are. They'll move back in the area. But uh, we're going to leave these here until we hear us talk of another batch of snow and then take them up for good then. And we set another one. When you help set, we'll go check that one, I guess. Okay. Right on, buddy. Put a nail in there, too. Well, guys. This little quail died uh, earlier in the year, so I got to use it as bait. I cut a merton here, and now I'll throw it away from the box a bit, and something will come along and eat that. Nothing goes to waste in nature, uh, everything gets used up, you know? So, recycle back into the system. <laughs> Ago, got a lot of that dirty bark on it, and I find if you, you throw it in a little pile, pile, you know, and bang it around a little bit, you nuts off a lot of that old dirty bark, and when it don't come right off, it loosens it up and really spit and comes off easier, you know. Well, I got uh, 22 more boxes there made. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be setting any more this year, so so I'll put those one side for next year. And I got some old scraps of uh, plywood and stuff here, so I'm gonna make another half dozen or so, just use all that old scraps up. And uh, right here I got the spilt heads and guts in the bag, I'm gonna throw that in the freezer. Who knows, you know, if I do set a couple of uh, more, I'll use that for bait, and if not, I'll just uh, use it in the garden later in the summer. So, uh, yeah, I got 22 more deer made, and uh, I'll make a few more now with this, this stuff here. <laughs> Well, look at that, that's perfect. I'll get two two back pieces. I'll even get a small front piece there. And a little bit of board if they to start me fire with. <laughs> you know, sometimes uh, your board could be warped. That's not anything, you just uh, nail on one side and then you just push them down right till they come flush and uh, yeah, and then nail them together. Get that. in a while you know uh, people ask us for update on the quail and uh, so every once in a while I'll come into the shop back and suck up our little dirty sardis and you know put some fresh sardis down and I tell you he really loves that fresh sardis and then every couple of days I'll keep adding a bit of fresh sardis a bit of fresh sardis and after it builds up so much I'll just uh, get the shop back again suck it out and start refresh read from start again and I cleaned out uh, their little water spout here as well sometimes dirt gets in there and uh, Water don't come in. Nice and peaceful there now on their fresh sardis. And uh, every time I clean out the cage when I'm done, I always mop up uh, the floor around there as well. Keep her nice and clean. scraps of board I can find I'm going to use up in Martin boxes now and uh, I'll fully complete that one so there'll be six fully completed there and four more I just needs those little top pieces for and I got 22 over here so that's 32 already for next year uh, you know this year uh, uh, I intended you know just to put a few traps out or whatever uh, nothing major but next year uh, I might go out a little harder and so every time I get a some old scrap board and stuff I'll, uh, I'll make a scatter box you know and by the time uh, next season rolls around i'm going to be well prepared yeah thanks for taking along 
Hope to see you all on the next one. Take care. All the best from the big land.